Hello beloved and welcome to your reading. Beloved, let's have a look to see what messages the divine wants you to receive in this timeless reading. I always remind you to invite your intuition to be present as I'm doing your readings because your intuition will start elaborating on the messages you are receiving so that this becomes more like a powerful personal reading. Okay, we have your cards on the table. Let's have a look to see what the opening message is is here what it has to say to you so you are opening up the energies of the celestial alignment so the divine is coming in and saying that there is things that are lining up for you these are your prayers these are your blessings this is the energies that are incoming so the divine is asking you to stay in that energy of excitement in that energy of hope because there is something that is on the way for you. The divine is also asking you to step into that energy of, of knowing what your truth is. Okay, who are you in the darkness when no one is looking? Who are you? So the divine is saying that there is an invitation to really explore deep down to find out your truth to find out what you stand for because it is going to be important as things are starting to change for you. So the divine is saying that for some of you, the truth of the matter is that you are divinely gifted. Your intuition is very, very sharp. But there is a feeling of you running away from your gifts because maybe there is a feeling of you are afraid of people judging you, judging you if you start reading tarot cards, judging you if you start sharing messages of what it is that you are feeling, what it is that you're thinking, what it is that you're hearing. The divine is saying that your intuitive messages are important to share. So how can you find ways of sharing your message? Okay, because the divine is saying that other people need your talents, other people need your skills, other people need you to show up okay so we're gonna be grabbing our next set of oracle cards so as I'm getting these cards for you what is your truth this is that moment in time of reflection okay this is that moment in time when the divine is asking you to perhaps go into nature to perhaps have that moment of that hermit mode okay because that hermit mode is going to be really allowing you to have that time of introspection because it is important it almost feels to me that even that your gifts of info intuition they are trying to come out and you are maybe not aware of your gifts of your talents i'm healing i'm feeling rather that some of you are healers I'm hearing rather that some of you know a lot of truths. You're able to tap into the Akashic records. You are able to tap in and bring in a lot of wisdom and knowledge. So I feel that your throat chakra is going to be, is going to be loosened up as you start sharing your truth and also tapping into your intuition. Okay, so we're looking next at the cards that are on the next line. So I'm feeling and hearing that rituals are also going to be important. Do you have spiritual rituals that are in place that you do all the time? So the divine is asking you to step into finding ways of how you can cleanse your home, maybe on a new moon, on a full moon, or in the time that you feel is good for you. I always feel that when it is a new moon, this is when I cleanse my home. This is when I open up the windows and burn my incense. This is that perfect time for me. So what is the rituals that you need to put in place so that you can always make sure that you're spiritually clean, especially when you start sharing your truth, especially when you start tapping into your intuition because cleanliness, spiritual, spiritually is really important there is an element of your happiness that is tied to these incoming blessings that are here there is an element of happiness that is tied to you stepping into your true power i told you that some of you are healers i told you that some of you are intuitive people so the divine is saying that for some of you you are going to be sharing your voice 
you're going to be sharing your message with the world and it is going to bring an energy of healing okay and so whatever is happening the divine is really truly asking you to step into your power because the card that you have that is talking about healing this is the card that is associated to aries okay and aries is always associated to i am remember we asked you what is your truth what do you stand for and so the divine is asking that message that question again in a different way i am and you are stepping into who you truly are into your truth finally so whatever is happening the divine is even saying that for some of you you are going to feel a sense of healing wash over you as you step into your power you are going to stay feel a sense of joy and happiness as you are starting to step into your throne claiming your divine gifts and your divine gifts is leading you into the energy where it feels like you are all of a sudden lucky okay so i really like these two cards the coloring that is there so the divine is saying that your happiness your luck is connected to you sharing your truth in whatever form that you choose to so maybe some of you are sharing your truth through singing and this is bringing that energy of healing to other people as they are listening to your voice as they are listening to your song some of you maybe you are loving writing poetry some of you whatever it is that you were gifted whatever gifts that you were born with this is the time to really tap in intuitively and listen to what it is that the divine is wanting you to share with the world okay so let's grab our um our tarot cards and let's see what is going on with our tarot cards and as i'm get, grabbing your tarot cards i'm just seeing what else is coming in i'm hearing that for some of you you are being asked to give some food to your ancestors to do an offering to the orishas the angels the celestial beings that you walk with there's a calling that is there that they need your attention they need some food they need some energy they need that ancestor money okay so that is a specific message for someone who needed to hear that all right so let's have a look to see what the next cards are talking about we have all types of energies that are here we have the energies of the pentacles we have the energies of the cups we have the energies of the wands and if you can hear tapping noise our um, internet is getting upgraded or something is happening outside so please just ignore that noise so as i was talking to you about the energies of giving to your ancestors there is an energy that is here where your guides your ancestors are really asking you to open up your hand to give and to share okay because by giving by sharing you are going to be receiving so whatever is happening there is an energy that is here where some of you are being called to even share with animals maybe you are adopting a cat maybe you are feeding other animals that are outside there is just an energy that i'm being asked to give you about opening up your hand and being kind to animals to people to whoever needs you okay there is an energy that is connected to the past a nostalgic type of energy that is here so whatever is happening the divine is saying that again this particular message makes sense to someone we're now stepping into the energies of the two of cups the two of cups we see you here working hand in hand bringing that energy of love bringing that energy of companionship filling someone else's cup and they are equally filling your cup so the divine is saying that cooperation collaboration is going to be important remember we spoke about you sharing your gifts so there's an energy of someone really needing what it is that you're sharing but you're understanding that other people are sharing their gifts too and in them sharing their gifts they're filling your cup 
So the divine is really saying that you have to do your part in this core creative energies that we, we, we deal with on a daily basis. You give to other people, other people receive. They fill your cup, you fill their cup in whatever way this is playing out. There's an energy of passion, there's an energy of fire that is here because you are receiving that energy of being brave. There's an energy of like a warrior type of energy. You're receiving the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is really the energy where the Divine is asking you to be single-mindedly focused on something that is really important to you, something that makes you feel alive, that brings excitement. And the Divine is saying that as you're stepping into your power, as you're stepping into your gifts, some of you are going to have to fight the world, your family, someone, because there's an energy of other people maybe wanting to hold you back, maybe being embarrassed with you sharing your true essence, your true being with other people. So whatever is happening, the divine is saying that as you are sharing, as you're being brave, as you're going forward and coming out to the world is who you truly are. There's an energy where you are going to be feeling lucky, where you are going to be feeling happy and feeling healed because finally you are no longer hiding who you truly are. Finally, you are accepting who you were meant to be. There's a feeling of hiding that is connected to the truth card, but there's a feeling of that energy, that gift, that talent, that fire that is within you wanting to come out and asking you for permission. Will you grant that permission? So whatever is happening, you have the energy of the Six of Wands, which is all about victory, which is all about recognition, which is all about celebrating, being celebrated and celebrating also. So the Divine is saying that once you start sharing your truth, being intuitive about who needs to hear what it is that you need to say, using your intuition, because using your intuition is going to guide you along this new path that you're going on. And yes, you might have to really be brave and fight for who you are. Fight to be appreciated and to be seen. Fight to be allowed to come out of that closet in whichever way form this is. Okay? And as you're coming out, there's an energy of people after a while actually appreciating your strength. And now you are being gifted. Now you're being celebrated. Now you're being recognized for the talents that you had kept hidden for so long. So the divine is saying that the celestial alignment is coming. Things are lining up for you. And you're just going to feel that inner feeling that is going to be prompting you, that is going to be pushing you forward. Don't waste time. Allow your intuition to lead you because the time is now. And like I said, as you're starting to work with your ancestors, your guides, remember to feed them and remember to put in place rituals to make sure that you're always spiritually clean, that you're always protected, that you're always making sure that no one can come and take advantage of you, especially on the spiritual plane. There's an energy of happiness, healing and luck connected to your gifts and your talents. Okay. So beloved, this is the reading that I have for you. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'll see you soon. It's a goodbye from me.